Is he back right. with us? Yeah, I'm here. Um, so uh, last week, Eddie said he'd like to see the spiraling done on, on a goblet stem with the Sorby tool. So I got one of those done. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> because here. So this is the goblet I was showing. And there's the spiraling I did with the Sorby tool. Um, wow. The next one I'm going to do is going to be, I used the biggest wheel I had. I'm going to do it with the smaller wheel. Now, I got this idea from a video by uh, British Turner, Mike Walt. So mm -hmm. he's got a video up that shows you how to do it. Um, I can show you how to do this too. Uh, but basically you just, you put the, uh, you put the platform on, uh, you put the platform on the tool. Okay. There's the platform. And uh, I did my angle at two. Uh, Mike Walt did his at one and he got a much tighter spiral. Um, this is the, the next size wheel down. The other one I, the one I used on that goblet was the bigger wheel. So uh, I intend to do another one, but I want to use the smaller wheel because what, I, what, what you do is you start it up in, in this part of the goblet and you, and you start it low and you bring the teeth on center and you're just cutting with the top corner of the, of the tool as you move it down, the, as you move it down. And you just, you don't, you don't moose it. You do it just a little bit at a time, spend the time, let the wheel keep indexing into the grooves in the same groove. And that's how, how you get her done. So really nice tool to work with. I've got both sizes. I'm spoiled with a little one. Yeah, on this one uh, with the big wheel, it, when I got down into the narrow part of this, it, it wouldn't pick up the, the wheel to turn it. It was just too big. So, uh, you know, the, the teeth were too far apart. So this is the wheel I'm going to use for the next one, which is the, like the medium size wheel. Um, but like I say, Mike Walt, W-A-L-D-T, has a real good video on, on how he did it. So I, I recommend we Walt, Walt to join in on this one week. Um, now it's the middle of the night for him. He doesn't have Martin's constitution. Oh, okay. Or, <laughs> or Paul. Paul's up in the middle of the night now, too. Yes. Yep. Man, yeah, I you bet guys, you guys do are, a good demo on that. You guys are Iron Men. I, I'd be happy to do a demo on it. It doesn't take long. Matter of uh -oh. fact, if you I, give gotta, another, I wrote it down. Wait a minute. Let me get my pen off. You give me another. You give me another fifteen minutes, and this goblet here that uh, that I'm working on, that I did the hollowing on, will be small enough. I'll have the stem done, and I can I can show it then. <laughs> uh, I like to pop back down to Matt. He said he would do a demo demonstration for us and show us a little about using that spiral tool. It's about twelve minutes forty hour. And Matt, you're on the t you're on you're live. All right, live well, thank direct. you, thank you, thank you. Um, all right, so I'm going to shift to the overhead view. Um, this is the goblet that I was turning earlier with that with the uh, with the the tool. Um, this is this is my my Sorby spiraling tool. I've got the platform on it. It's there's an indicator, a, a line on the middle of the of the tool, and I've got it set to to the hash mark number two. Now. I want to show that I've got it tilted. Um, if this is normal, I've got it or flat. I've got it tilted up this direction. And the reason I've got it tilted up that direction is I'm going to start it on this side up on this part of the goblet here and run it down to this part of the goblet. All right. I'm going to run about 500 RPMs. I've got my tool rest set low. I'm only going to cut with the top of the teeth here uh, where the bevel meets the teeth. And I'm going to start below the piece and raise raise the tool into the wood to make it start cutting. I'm not. I'm only going to go about 500 RPMs, and I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on. I want the tool to do the work. All right. Any questions so far? Not from this set. All right. So I'll turn it on. Watch this, folks. You're going to love this. All right, so and, and I want to engage the teeth. I'm, I'm only cutting with the top of the teeth. I'm being re real careful about where I start this. So I'm going to start it there, and I'm going to let it start running here, and then I'm going to slowly move it down the length of the goblet until I get here. And we're going to see what we get. So there you go. Can you guys see that? Yes. No, uh -huh. Not very well. Let me see yeah. if I can zoom in on it here. Anyway, I've got some real good spirals in there, and the platform keeps it on the. Uh, whoops, that's not it. There we go. 
So the spirals start here where I started to cut and they go all the way down. I got a little cleanup and sanding to do here where the transition was, but it lays them out real nice and even. Now on the other goblet, what I did earlier, I used the bigger wheel and then I went in, let me back that off a bit. Um, then I went in with my, with, with, uh, with my Dremel and a diamond bit and cleaned it up a bit, cleaned up the grooves a little bit because it was a little, mm -hmm. little cut up here. But at any rate, that's, that's, the, that's the difference between the big wheel and the medium-sized wheel. Matt? Yes, sir. Can you come across that again, or is that a one-time deal? No, I can. It's, it, it, the, the, the tool is supposed to re-engage, supposed to re-pick up the thing, the, the, the grooves, and re-engage. So when I get going here, I've got my platform flat. I've, I'm letting it find it. Right, the key is to go in from below. You can't go straight in. You have to lift up. Right. So, and it re-engaged in the same grooves. Wow. That's great. Yeah, it looks really cool. <laughs> anyway, but that's how that works. So, <laughs> The beauty of this is if you're unhappy, you can scrape it out and start again. Yeah, I left the stem on this one a little thicker than I did the last one, and it seems to have worked a little better. Um, and then you can take, I mean, the hardest part about, about doing grooves in anything or doing a barley twist or a spiral and anything like this is getting the grooves laid out evenly. Once you've got them, you know, carved out a little bit, making them deeper or, or cleaning them up is, is, is fair, just carving, you know, which is not that hard compared to the laying out. So anyway, there you go. Matt out of Oregon's asking, what tool is that? It is a Sorby Spiral Master. Is that right? That description? I don't think the word master is in it. I think it's the Sorby Spiraling and Texturing Tool. Okay. Um, the one that I got comes with three spiraling wheels and a texturing wheel. They so, come in two different sizes that I know of. Yep. Yep. I've yeah. got the small one too. I got a small. question. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, um, you're, you say you're just barely touching that, right? Yep, not a lot of pressure. Right, okay, but to get it deeper, do you have to use the tool afterwards or can you use that, push a little harder you know, and, and make it deeper? You can. Um, I, I don't wanna push too hard on this goblet because the stem is not that thick and I could easily crack it. Um, so I don't wanna, I want the tool to do the work. Okay, I want the, t the teeth to do the carving and I want the tool to do the work. So um, you can go over it multiple times. Once the teeth are in the groove, they will stay in the groove and stay indexed in the grooves the whole time. So if you wanna, I've taught a spiraling class, Chris Parker and I from Great Britain taught a spiraling class. And one of the things that I teach in the spiraling class is count to five where you are. So. Don't just put it on there and say, okay, it's good. Say one in your head, go one, two, and say it out loud. Go one, two, three, four, five, and then start moving if you're going to move it. You know, leave it on a little bit longer than you think and let just let the tool do the cutting. The longer you leave it on, the deeper it'll get. Okay. Can you move it back and forth? Yes. Yes. The teeth stay stay in the grooves. Right. That's the, that's the beauty of it is the teeth stay in the grooves. And you don't have to worry about texturing. Once you've done it a few times, you, I mean, indexing. Once you've done it a few times, you know how deep you wish to go by what you're looking at. And the 500 RPMs, um, that, that's why it's down that slow so you can see what's happening to the spirals. Yeah, it's, I mean, the gentleman who was here talking a little bit earlier about using the spiraling tools, it does take a little bit of practice and a little bit of a touch and you'll find it when you, you know, just play, play around with it a little bit and find it. But the short answer is, is if you go too fast and you push too hard, you're just going to tear up the wood. So, you know, the tool knows what it's supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. Just and let it do where, it. <laughs> this is where one of those things called scrap wood comes into use. We don't have any, but that's where you chuck up something and play with it before you do it to your art and, and, and learn. That same thing with the water drop stuff. Yep. So it's, it's, so there's flat. And if you want tighter grooves, then you set it to, you know, like the, the one index. If you want wider grooves, you set it to the three index. 
you know, you just, this worked a lot better than the other one did. So yeah, I'm going to stick with this wheel. <laughs> this was more do, you, do you always use the platform? I know when I, we had the class with Michael Macho showing us, he took the platform off immediately and everything we did was freehand. Uh, I noticed you're using the platform to make sure I, on a, a spiral like that, I would think you'd almost have to have the platform, don't you? Yeah, if you want regular spirals, you use the platform. I almost never, whenever I'm texturing with the tool, I don't leave the platform on either. I freehand it because I like to roll the tool as I move it to get a varied pattern that changes. So yeah, whenever I'm texturing with the tool, which I do a lot more than I do these spirals, this was just done because Eddie said he'd like to see it last weekend. And I said, I could do that. <laughs> Thank you.